Here's a very, very basic explanation of 3D printing. You've got a roll of plastic filament here, which is being fed into the machine. It's being melted here, and the machine is moving in three dimensions to build up a shape. In true Blue Peter style, here's one that I did earlier. The only difference is this one's in white. Right, so how do you get the thing you want to print? Well, two basic ways, or two main ways, should I say. First of all, you can go to a website, there's many of them. And for instance, this funnel here. I downloaded this from a website. Look, this isn't exactly the same, but it will serve as an example. Somebody has very kindly designed this, and when it actually loads, You can download the files here and you can print it out. Or, if you want to design your own things, use a, a, a program called a, a, a CAD program. C-A-D, Computer Aided Design. Now, I wanted to make a shelf to put my shampoo on while I was in the uh, bath. So I... I've designed this here, it's a roll top bath, and this is the uh, finished printed piece. Okay, so once you've either chosen what you want to print and downloaded it from a website or done your own design, what you do is you send it to this program here. What this program does is it makes that design work on that machine. This is called a slicer. It does lots and lots of different things. Okay, that's basically the way it works. Now, this has been going for, this is about a one hour print. It's been going for nearly half an hour now. What I'll do, I'll pop back intermediately and I'll uh, show you how it's progressing. There is a third way, and that's by using a laser scanner. So what you do is you scan something you wanted to copy, and then you would send the files from this to that slicer program that I mentioned. Anyway, enough of that. I forgot to come back and do an intermediate shot so it's printed and uh, I, I the white is definitely much better than the black isn't it because the shadow shows up the uh, text yeah fantastic <laughs> 